Hi, it's Craig the Hot Tub Service Tech and I'm doing a series of videos about water chemistry. And um, in previous videos I did alkalinity, pH, uh, I covered test strips and I covered sanitizers. I just felt I had to take uh, time to make a video about what I call um, hot tub killers and that would be one of these. Um, a chlorine or bromine tablet floater in the spa. Um, I am not aware of a spa in the industry where chlorine tablets, which is a trichlor chlorine tablet, is even recommended by the manufacturer. Um, some manufacturers allow the use of what's called a BCDMH bromine tablet. Um, very few manufacturers, you know, recommend that. Uh, the reason I don't like these, um, I'd like to say it's, you know, two, three, four fold, but it's actually like 12 fold. Um, let's see if I can ramble this all out here. These tablet floaters tend to over sanitize in every spa they're in. What people tend to do is they tend to load these things up with as many tablets as they will hold. And then if you can see the rate the size of the window there, that is the dissolve rate window, that tends to be wide open so four tablets at a time are being dissolved into the water. Um, you know, if you absolutely had to use one of these, you know, you dial it way down so only one tablet at a time is being dissolved, but it doesn't matter because the other aspect of this is these tend to have a set it and forget it aspect in these hot tubs. So you load it up full, you put it in there, and then uh, you don't even really get in the habit of putting a test strip in every week and monitoring your water chemistry. You're thinking, well, this thing's in there doing its job. What do I have to put a test strip in there for? Um, well, if you got your alkalinity and pH balanced and you're not monitoring it, your alkalinity and pH over the weeks can start to track low. And when it tracks low, your water starts be to become acidic and corrosive which tends to dissolve these tablets at a faster rate. So in addition to having low alkalinity and pH, which is corrosive water, then you have an astronomically high sanitizer level, which accentuates the corrosiveness. And these are just eating out these spas. And I have seen everything from pump seals eaten out, heaters pitted out, moto massage jets blistered shut, undersides of the cover blistered, blistered like bubble wrap, um, I have seen uh, shell distress actually etching at the water line. Uh, it goes on and on and on and on. So the use of these tablet floaters in many of these spas is uh, not only ill-advised, but the manufacturer strictly forbids them. This particular manufacturer says that the use of such sanitizers will outright void the warranty of your spa. So um, avoid them at all costs if you do have to use one of these floaters because you just, you know, it's like at a weekend house and you're really not there. Please only put a couple of tablets in there and dial it down so only one tablet at a time is being used. And please maintain your alkalinity and pH in conjunction with the sanitizer and keep an eye on your sanitizer level with your test strips because if this is starting to over sanitize the spa, you will see it on this test strip and uh, you can back it off or even take that floater out of there. So um, that is all I have to say on these tablet floaters. Um, if it were me, I wouldn't even use them. So I hope you learned something. And if you did, give me a like. Thank you.